you're still fucking around. You still haven't started. You know what? Quit. Just quit. Throw in the towel. Give up. Because that's who you are. You're not an action taker. You're somebody who enjoys talking about your goals. But you're not serious. So leave the serious stuff for the serious people. You can just be a spectator. Sit on the bench. Keep the bench warm. Maybe one day you'll get a chance to play. But if you can't bring yourself to, to do the work, then you don't deserve to play. Bottom line. I mean, come on, man. You talk a load of smack. And you still haven't started. Force yourself to do the work. You're not a child. You're a grown man. Break down what it is that you have to do. For example, you want to be a content creator. All you've got to do is turn a camera on and bloody talk to, a, to the camera for 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, in the beginning, you could tell yourself, well, I've never done it before. That's right. It's new. So you're a little bit nervous. But then there comes a point where you just got to do it, man. Otherwise, you're just going to continue being a spectator for the rest of your fucking life. Come on, man. Get it together. Do you want to be able to look at yourself in the mirror and respect yourself? Or when you look in the mirror, do you feel ashamed? When you feel that shame, that's your body telling you that you're not operating at your true potential. That you've been slacking. Don't ignore that sign from the universe. Don't ignore it. Do something with it. Harness that frustration and get to work. Get it together, man. Enough is enough. I used to be this way, believe me. I used to procrastinate for months on end and it became a year, two years, delaying certain ideas because I wasn't ready. Bullshit. I was looking for reasons not to do it. That's what it was. I was scared. And it was only when I grabbed my fucking balls and I pulled the trigger that things started to change for me for the better. I told myself, Ali, listen, if you don't do it now, you'll never do it. I know myself. I'll just continue procrastinating, continue looking for reasons not to do it. It's now or never, motherfucker. It's now or never. Force yourself to do the fucking work. There isn't a magical date in the future where things will just magically align together and you'll be ready to start. No, that doesn't exist. You make the time right. The best way to predict the future is to create it. Is the hard work always going to be fun? No. But you can't just work when it's fun and convenient. No, you've got to show up every single day for the future you. The future you is looking back at you right now thinking, man, please, brother, get it together, man. Stop messing about. You're not going to have all the answers. You just won't. But that's what makes life exciting is that you don't yet know how to do this. So you need to maybe read some more books, meet some more people to acquire the information. You'll basically be able to fit the puzzle together as time goes on. If you knew how it was going to come together straight away, or if you knew how to do it straight away, it'll take away from the sense of adventure. Did I know exactly how to make great videos and what camera to use and what mic to when I first started? No. And that's what was holding me back for so long. It was my desire to have everything perfect from day one. No, man. Get going with it. Stop fucking around. This is your sign to get it together. If you don't, someone else will. If you don't, you're going to be sat on the bench watching somebody else live a prosperous career, achieve their dreams, retire their parents, and you're always going to be thinking, that could have been me. That could have been me. And then you're going to end up like one of the millions of men around the world who are just resentful bums who hate on other men for achieving success when it could have been them. They had every opportunity as well. 
the same 24 hours. But someone else wants it more than you, and so they will do whatever it takes to achieve it. Whereas your you know, little, you know, damsel in distress, you know, I don't feel good today, so I, I just don't want to do it today. Ali, give me a break. All you have is breaks. If you're somebody who's worked hard for a whole year, two years, to build something, you deserve your breaks. Whereas you seek a break every day without doing any work. I said this in one of my last videos. We have lost touch with what it means to be a hard worker. Most guys today do not work hard. They're lazy as fuck. They're obsessed with this whole passive income, online, e-commerce, dropship in life where they don't do anything. See, these motherfuckers have marketed what they do to appeal to people that don't want to do the work. They're lazy. A, a passive income hack that will allow you to... The only true passive income is buying a property, renting it out. Everything else is garbage. You, you, you have to do the work for. It's not completely passive. Or if you own a stock in a business, fair enough. You could take dividends out of it. Cool. But you're attracted to these set it and forget it systems. I'm not even a fan of automated trading. Right? Do the work, man. Do it yourself. Fall in love with the grind. It's what makes life exciting. You wake up, you have somewhere to be, something to do. You don't just sat on your bed waiting for the dollars to come in. Listen, this is a short video, man. Get it together. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you boys in the next one.